about making a move to the Jacksonville area and you've heard about St. Johns County. Well, in St. Johns County, not to be confused, there is a municipality of St. Johns and in that St. Johns municipality of St. Johns County where you can find fantastic um, public schools and fantastic master plan communities, there is one community in particular, if you're looking for space, you're looking for privacy, you're looking for larger lots, you're looking for a quality build from a national builder, welcome to Bartram Ranch. All right, so Bartram Ranch is a Toll Brothers community. That means nothing but Toll Brothers homes. And again, you can find yourself anywhere between a 2,500 square foot home to a 4,200 square foot home. And these lots range up to 80 feet plus to 120, 140 feet back. So these are really considered estate size lots here for St. Johns County and there are 14 different floor plans you can pick from. Now, Bartram Ranch is already established. As you can see, they have the clubhouse, they have the pool, they have the uh, gym, they have the dog park, the playground and everything. So it has been established now. They're already done with three phases, four phases. They're going into a phase five, which will be apparently gated. I know they have brand new floor plans, including much, including much larger floor plans that Toll Brothers offers. So it's a really exciting time to get in. They also have spec homes. So if you wanna move in now, January, February, March, there are homes that are gonna be ready right now, all the way through March. So, so many opportunities for this fantastic community. And it is not a CDD community, which means you just pay a monthly HOA of $103 a month so that you have access to all these amenities, so, uh, all these amenities. So, a very unique community, very beautiful. Let's check it out some more. Before we leave the clubhouse, we've got to talk about the social scene really quick. So I'm checking out here, Bartram Rant, the trail house, that's the name of the clubhouse. And we're looking at the social schedule and it looks like they have poker nights for adults from 5 to 10 p.m. First Friday of every month. Food truck Friday from 5 to 8 p.m. Um, they had a Halloween house decorating contest in uh, September. Um, they had a ladies night get together and in intros, which is cool because it just gives you a sense of community to learn the new neighbors that are moving in. Um, you have also a Halloween costume parade. That's awesome for, you can dress up your kids and your dogs. How cool is that? And then you had a house decorating contest for um, Christmas as well. And then here it says December 31st, New Year's Eve fireworks. So a lot going on here in Bartram Ranch, even though there's no CDD, pretty heavily active HOA, which really adds to that community aspect of living. As you can see here, this is the Atlantic Ocean. There's Ponte Vedra Beach, there's Nocatee, and here's St. John's. We're in the Northwest section of St. John's. And we are in Bartram Ranch. And as you notice, Bartram Ranch is right next to Switzerland here. And it is um, very close to the Rivertown development and right next to the St. John's River. So we in the, are in the Northwest section of St. John's County. And this is the municipality of St. John's. So Bartram Ranch has been building for a few years now. I think they started around the COVID days and it was a little slow getting started. Um, people are always reluctant at first when a community starts, um, but that's usually when the good deals come. And now I would say they're around 200 homes. They've done uh, three phases and um, selling in phase four currently. And in the new year, January of 2024, they'll start selling in phase five. Now there's only gonna be six phases apparently. And phase five is the one community within Bartram Ranch that is gonna be gated. So if you are, if that's really important to you to live in a gated community, then you better get on the ball because as they open up that phase, you wanna have the pick of the litter as far as lot goes. Um, 
This is currently phase four, I believe, that we're going into, just so you can get a feel for the neighborhood. Nice size, larger lots. You've got at least 30 feet, if not more, between neighbors, um, which is not easy to find here in St. Johns County. And um, it's definitely a little more country out here near St. Johns River. If you watch my previous videos, I say that. Um, it's not like a huge master plan community like Rivertown or Shearwater or Nocatee. It's, it's a little more unique because, you know, they're saying they're only going to have 365 homes. There's only one builder and they're all larger lots. So, like I said, if you're looking for a little more private community, something that's not too big, um, then Bartram Ranch would be for you. And certainly Toll Brothers has great resale. I've found that with my experience over the last 10 years, I would say that Toll Brothers has great resale value. They have good floor plans. And so there's a lot of opportunities. Now I did do the pricing in here as of recording this and I'm finding homes are priced between 235 to $275 a square foot. So you're seeing homes between 750 to 1.2 million. Uh, currently, there is a model that is available for sale, which is under 1.2 million. Uh, beautiful home, and if you're not wanting to go through a 12-month build process, there are also spec homes that are available right now, as I said previously, um, and that could be a good option for you. So. Um, we're definitely past the middle of this development now. We're coming to, I'd say, third quarter. And so if you're looking for a larger lot in an exclusive community, Bartram Ranch would definitely be it for you. So we're gonna go ahead and give you a quick tour of um, some of these homes so you can get an idea of the build themselves. I like to show a house in the raw, not a model. I'm gonna show you an actual quick move in here in Bartram Ranch. Um, this is 3,300 square feet. It's five bedrooms, four baths. It's got a three car garage. It's got a massive driveway. It's got a killer porch as you enter, enter the home. And this could be yours for $850,000. So for again, for St. Johns County and this size lot, this is a great opportunity. That's why I love this neighborhood so much. So let's go inside and check it out. All right. Notice the high ceiling as you enter here. You can see there's a loft up there. So again, that's a pretty awesome feature. First thing I do is I always check the floors. This is a wide plank luxury vinyl. So this will take a lot of traffic. Love the color. It's wide plank, very cool these days. So that's important to me. All right, to the left here, we got the first bedroom. Right off the bat, I love the high ceilings, but check out all these windows, big, large windows. Toll Brothers does a really good job with that. Very light and bright, makes the, the between the high ceilings and the large windows makes the room feel huge. All right, in between this bedroom and the next bedroom, we have a bathroom with a double vanity. You've got the thick quartz countertop, nice light fixtures, and then the shower tub combo. Definitely well done, great colors, very neutral. That's how they do these spec homes, something that everybody is gonna love. Bedroom number two right here. Again, a little bit of an upgrade you're gonna notice is the flooring. Burberry carpeting, that is an upgrade, a little more quality than the standard builder carpeting that you usually get. That is bedroom number two. Who doesn't love a three car garage? What's really important to me too is that double bay, because if you do have a massive SUV like we do, you don't have to worry about trying to park it and, and hitting the sides of the car or anything. So I love that double bay. And then a single for your golf cart, because that's really popular in these master plan communities here in St. Johns County. Right off the bat, when I come out of the garage, awesome bag drop, coat hangers, plenty of little storage areas. Really important to me and my family. 
And then outside the garage, you have a laundry room with a sink. Pretty cool to have a sink. Um, definitely can add your own cabinets to, for this price point at 850, gives you a little bit of money to play with. And then your AC, a carrier, which is good quality HVAC. And then as we come out of the garage area, you have a half bath, so maybe I'm wrong. This is four and a half bath. Oh no, there's a shower and a bathroom in there too. So. And then of course, right outside the garage, the bag drop and the laundry area, that's where you put your guest, right? And so here we have a guest room. Um, it's not a huge bedroom. This is bedroom number three. They're coming to visit. You don't want them to stay too long. You don't want it to be too big and comfortable. So it's just right. And then of course, plenty of storage here, additional storage that you want to fill with your own belongings so your guests know that they don't want to stay too long. All right, so we've done three bedrooms, three car garage, uh, the guest bathroom down here. We're gonna go walk out into a nice big grand open living room, which is pretty cool. Open uh, plan concept. Kitchen cell houses, and this is definitely a beautiful kitchen. Love the pendant lighting, quartz countertops on the island, um, farmhouse sink, very well done. Neutral colors, you got the white cabinets stacked, double stack high, a really cool backsplash. Um, gas stove, I didn't mention Bartram Ranch is a gas community. And then finally, a nice walk-in pantry with plenty of additional storage for all that food you're gonna buy at Costco that you really didn't mean to buy. So right off the kitchen, you have your dining area. Um, gone are the days of that formal dining area. This is kind of off the kitchen. It is compartmentalized from the main living room. Awesome big windows with that view of this terrific uh, preserve. We'll check it out in a minute, but first we're gonna go to the primary. The primary is off the kitchen here. Tray ceilings, large windows, very light and bright, very spacious primary. The upgraded carpet in this quick move in. You've got two closets, one for her or him for him, her for her, whatever works for you. And then you have the primary bath, you got your WC, you got a double vanity, plenty of drawer space, a shower. This one doesn't have a standalone tub, but unless you're gonna wash your baby or your dog in it, you're never gonna use it anyway. And then you have your huge closet for uh, additional storage and linens. Really cool feature off the living room is this additional closet space. They're not, make, they're not wasting any space of the stairs here. They're adding additional closet space. I love how they reversed it here on the back end of the living room because if you have a big entertainment center, you can also add all your um, entertainment center equipment in here and have additional storage kind of hidden away here in the corner of the living room. So that's a great feature. Let's go upstairs. We've checked out four bedrooms down here. Um, we're gonna go check up that loft. Notice this is an upgrade on this house, on this quick move-in. And these wood floors are certainly something I appreciate, an upgrade that doesn't come cheap. So now we're at the top of the stairs. You have a nice loft area. It's totally a bunch of different options that we can use with that. Um, again, you also have your fifth bedroom. Four bedrooms downstairs, one bedroom upstairs with its own bathroom, shower, tub combo. Now, if you don't wanna put your guests next to the laundry room in the garage, this could be another option, putting a guest up here. They have a little personal space. You can put your uh, teenage son up here. Um, whatever works best for you. For me personally, this would make a great man cave area for my office and a uh, little man cave action for some ping pong, game room, whatever tickles your fancy, but that's what's so awesome about this house. I mean, we're talking 3,300 square feet, a lot of bedrooms, a lot of space, a lot of different options. Now the big selling feature of this house, let's go check it out now. Now this is what it's all about here in Northeast Florida. A massive, beautiful outdoor living space. And that's what makes Bartram Ranch so special is these 80 foot lots and they could go back 140 feet. But look behind me, you have gorgeous preserve with these northeastern trees here in Florida are amazing. Imagine what you can build out here as far as outdoor living, pools, uh, playground, anything you want. 
That's what makes this place so special because you have so much space. So part of the year here, I would say a solid seven, eight months, you're gonna have a good amount of time out here. And so you do wanna rely on your budget. And if not now, maybe later on down the road, you may wanna add a pool, you might wanna do a screen enclosure, you might wanna put a hot tub. There's so many different options that people are doing now. It's an important part of the lifestyle because Look, it's December right now, it's 50s, 60s, it's absolutely gorgeous. At night, you're gonna wanna sit around a fire outside. A lot of people are skipping the indoor fireplace for an outdoor fireplace. There's so many options. If you've been thinking about moving to Florida, well, St. John's County is a great option. As you can see behind, the land is being cleared and we're getting short of land here. And definitely Bartram Ranch has some of the nicest lots for sure. This is phase five right here. It's gonna be gated, so don't wait. The opportunities are gonna come up in January. Make sure you call me. You need an advocate on your behalf. It costs you nothing. The sales reps have the best interest of the builder. Uh, find a real estate professional like myself to be an advocate for you on a big home purchase like this to walk you through the process. And again, be an advocate on your behalf with the building process. Um, it costs you nothing. Just call me, text me, or email me. My information will be in the description below. I'd love to be your resource of choice. I have plenty of videos here in St. John's County, so I will see you on that next video.